Are you ready for high-level action and impact performances from some of the most explosive players in simulation basketball? Welcome to the SGBA, where competition is at an all-time high. Players from around the world will collide on the hardwood. Powerhouses will come face-to-face -face in epic battles. Rivalries will begin on the court, and storylines will either live on or fade away. At the end of the day, somebody will make it rain. But ultimately, when the smoke clears and the clock hits zero, who will be crowned champion? It's the SGBA, the future of simulation basketball. GA, we've seen. And over the last time out, time couple of years, team. the center position has come back into Sorry. vogue. And Kevin Wood and the same teams go small. Lots of fours. Even traditional threes play the five. But with MVP level seasons from guys like Jokic and Embiid, the center isn't quite extinct yet. Wildcats making a switch here. Where's checked in? Wanamaker looking over the floor. Six on the shot clock. A shot. It's rebounded by Pollard. That's one he knows he should have drained. Morant against DeRozan. Burt. From outside, off the mark. Being a respectable 47% for the field in this one. And for the Wildcats. to the inside and Wanamaker gets it to go and the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot yeah as soon as these guys feel contact they are just disappearing like they're not even there you gotta show some fire and keep defending it's good Tyreek Burt assisted Moran about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now and for the Wildcats Morant against DeRozan. Here's the pass to Wanamaker. Shot clock at five. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Second team foul. At the line for your home team, number 23. No good on that one. Good on the second free throw. And here's Morant. Outside, Bain. Here's Hodge. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Riggs. And he drops it in from the low post. 20 points for him. That was a disgusting first half he turned in, but it's been night and day for him after the break. To the paint. Here's Hodge. Sinks the triple. I know what they say. Defense wins championships, but you need some bucket getters too now. That's the Wanamaker. Back to DeRozan. Down low. It's tipped. 
Bain with it. Always going up for the alley-oop here. And, and really a good job spotting his teammate near the bucket and then just pinpoint passing for the finish. Gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Passes it to Wanamaker. Riggs, and he takes the feed in stride and sends it home. Yeah, it's easy to see why they go to him so often because they know they can depend on him and come through for him. Pass to Patterson. Good and nice assist for Morant. Morant's got his seventh assist in the game. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. DeRozan against Morant. With some arc, DeRozan's shot is off. I, I'm not sure what happened there. You, you, his family's in the building. I don't know. You have to finish those. Oh, that was nice. That's the number one thing on his mind every time he touches. GA with the D right there on him. Still ran hard to the rim. From out on the wing, he knocks it down. DeRozan's got 11 in the second half. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. Now, here's Bain. And the three ball is good. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just a great ball movement. Outside DeRozan. Here's Wanamaker, guarded by Bain. Out to DeRozan. Five to shoot. Fires for three. And Bain pulls it down. The Wildcats have gone six of eight from the field in the fourth so far. It's been a great start to this final quarter for them. You often expect him to convert these types of shots, but the D must have made their presence felt to prevent that one. Riggs, Patterson defending from the line. That one rolling around and rims out. See, that miss, that miss right there, it's why teams try to avoid the mid-range jumper these days. Over to the left wing. Pie. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Young just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth, or of nine. On the wing, DeRozan. Guarded by Morant. Back to Wanamaker. Launches it. No good. But still, eventually, you got to feel like he'll start knocking those down. Morant kicks to Patterson. Nine feet out. Will not go. This is off the front iron. 40% in the fourth. DeRozan passes to Wanamaker. Riggs, Patterson defending. The wide open look here for DeRozan. Drills the three-pointer. DeRozan's got five points in the quarter. Things are heating up for him behind the arc. He only had one three in the first half, but now he's up to three in the second. And the Wildcats call time here. And the short break in the action gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Billy Donovan talking to his team. He told his team they're being too reckless with the ball. He said, you're turning it over left and right. You've got to be smarter and more in control out there. Guys, back to you. Okay, David, thanks. Goes up on the wing. Down goes basket number six for him this game. He's taken 12 shots and made half of them. Gone 5 of 11 from the field in the fourth quarter. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Wildcats. Morant against DeRozan. To the middle. And that one good.
they've been a little too casual with the ball out there. Yeah, but you can't force that square peg into the round hole. Oftentimes, you just got to make that first simple pass and get a rhythm from that. Here's Morant. To the paint. Tries again. And that's two points on the layup. Stayed with it, and his effort is rewarded with the second chance bucket. Guys, a good chance for them to slow it down. Yeah, they definitely should use some clock here. Two minutes remaining. In the game. DeRozan in the corner. There's the triple. Buries the long range jumper. 25 points in the game. The man has no heart, and that's poor defense for a team that has a long way to catch up. Effort like this makes you wonder if they've already packed it in for the game, ready to go on to the next. Got to at least show a little heart out here. The pass to Wanamaker. Back to DeRozan. Down low. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Wildcats. Wildcats ball. One twenty-nine left to play in the final quarter. Morant with a wide open look. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And how about the terrific use of the crossover there to just throw the defender off balance. DeRozan scanning the floor. And Wanamaker gets it to go. Wanamaker's got four points this quarter. And even with the big lead, he remains focused on the task at hand. If he has space in the mid-range, he'll let it fly. Doesn't matter if the score is tied or they are up big. With the prospect of making a big lead even bigger. And you got to jump at this chance. Stretch that lead out as much as possible. Now here's DeRozan. Launches a three. Good on the three-point shot. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. And it felt like they just flipped the switch to go on that run and seal the game. Saving our best basket for the end. Always smart. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, GA, the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, you like the pick to set up the open shot, but when it leads to a dunk, okay, even better. He'll take it. Here's Wanamaker. The Wildcats getting their last shot to go. Can't cash in from close range. Here are the Wildcats. Morant outside. Teardrop shot, and it's Number in there. 18. Six seconds left in the fourth. Outside DeRozan. And so they get the victory here at home. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and when the first step of becoming a good team, it has your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel. David, thank you as always. And that'll do it, folks.
Arizona calls timeout. Fans make some noise for yards. They're keeping us updated. From the sideline. Allie LaForce. Right, Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Tom Thibodeau coaching his team during that last break. Coach telling their team, this is a tight one. We need full effort defensively. One or two stops, and we will win this game. A coach preaching defense, a familiar tune. Okay, thank you, Allie. Outside Murphy. Clock is at three to tie it up. Smith with the rebound. Smith's got six rebounds here tonight. Outside, Anderson. And the baseline jumper, no good. Not a bad shot from the mid-range, but he's giving it to him, and he's usually got an eye in that kind of range. Just over two and a half minutes played now. Final quarter of regulation. Nice pass. Nice catch. And a resounding dunk. Such confidence as a passer. Hits guys in stride. It makes it look easy. For Arizona, they've gone two of five from the field in this final quarter. Book Knight passes to Anderson. Low. That one's good. Nothing but net. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Dawkins, the pass to Russell. To take the lead. Fires in the triple. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Now here's Anderson. Here's Booknight. Dunks it hard with one hand. Wow, he makes it look easy. Oh, what ferocity on the throwdown. I just love when he goes up with purpose. Where was the D right there? The effort lacking big time. There's some ways to get your coach's attention, and that draws the coaching staff's eye. Nails it from three. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. Low. From outside, off the mark. Gone four of seven from the field in the fourth quarter. Here's Dawkins. Murphy with a screen on Smith. Pass to Russell. Anderson pulls it down. Arizona shooting the ball at around 42% for the game. Here's Book Knight. Now Smith. Takes the three. Book Knight. Book that. Book Knight's got 10 points here in the second half. That's his third triple of the night. His second since halftime. Here's Russell. Timeout, timeout. Teams making some changes here. To the right side. 
Here's Dawkins. Pass to Bembry. To the wing on the left. Six to shoot. Here's Morales. Here's Dawkins. From behind the arc. Hits the trifecta. Dawkins has got five points in the quarter. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Here's Book Knight. Pass to Smith. The three. Morales with a rebound. Morales has got rebound number eight here already in the game. Here's Dawkins. To the wing, right side. The three ball. That shot missing. And even though he couldn't send the shot back at him, he certainly altered it. Yeah, that's the kind of energy that you want to see on every possession throughout the game. From 13, Book Knight can't get it to go. He's got five out of ten shots to drop here in the final quarter. From 11 feet away, and he gets it to go again. He's connected on 10 of 15 now. Uh, defensively, they've been flat in this second half. A very different type of team than we saw in the first. Pass to Smith. Bembry grabs the miss. Bembry's got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Dawkins, covered by Smith. Here's Morales. The fader. Here's Dawkins, covered by Smith. Here's Bembry. Here's Dawkins. On target from range. Dawkins has got 15 points here in the second half. Defense shaking their heads. No idea how to stop him in this quarter. He's got him on the ropes. To stop the run. And the layup is good. And just great intensity down the stretch. I mean, he really wants to rock with the game on the line. I'll take a look at him. Locked in right now in this moment. Wants the ball in his hands and feels real comfortable with the shot he's taking. Two minutes. Here's Bembry. Yeah, you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. First team at the line for the away team. Bembry taking two shots. first one and that increases the lead to six second free throw no good that time he really wanted that one for Arizona, they've gotten six of their 13 shots to go. There's a minute 47 left in the fourth. Misses from close range. Got seven to go out of 13 attempts during the fourth. Here's Morales. Oh, it makes it with a kiss. What a great option he gives them on every possession. Pick by Smith. Pass to Book Knight. Low. Misses the three. Grant wouldn't be a bad idea here to slow it down. Yeah, the coach is definitely looking for patience and execution. One left in the final quarter. Here's Morales. Lays it up and banks it in. Showing us that killer instinct right now. No letting the foot off the gas for them. Yeah, up until time that out, point, a competitive out. game. But once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. Anderson. 40 
43 seconds left in the game. It's not going to go for him. Here's Morales. Here's Dawkins. Here's Morales. Just five to shoot. Shoots over Booknight. Here's Bembry. And he goes in for the dunk. And they came in here with some attitude, and they brought out their best play. Yeah, it looks like a veteran team tonight, getting out on the road, playing with assertiveness, confidence, fully in control for this win. Here's Anderson. Yes, it's good. Anderson. Well orchestrated. And then the pass is right on the money. Here's Dawkins. So the road team gets the W in this one. Boy, a nice win on the road. By the time this one was winding down, this building was stone cold silent. And that's exactly what you got to do. You have to try to take the crowd out of it. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Brent Barry, this is Brian. And we see players some... Times Greg after a team. change of venue, they they change teams suddenly taking the next step. What can be that lead? It's not all just Let's opportunity and fit. I think there can be a mental component as well. A, a fresh start can give you a blank canvas to try new things. And now the latest from our reporter David Olden. Hey guys, listen in with Will Hardy and his team. Coach not happy with the team. He told him, come on, we have to value the basketball. We're just giving it away. We'll see if they listen, guys. Okay, David, much appreciated. Here's Dio. Four on the shot clock. Puts up a deep three. No good, shot missing. Here's Hendricks. A three. And he's good on the three ball. The defender was pretty much helpless right there. His man had a clear height advantage, and he got the exact kind of shot he wanted. 60 seconds off the clock here in the fourth. Covered by Evans. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And Matador defense. That's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. personal foul, first team foul. And an important part of every team's game to look at the hustle stats for San Diego. Their activity has been at a constant level. Always around the ball. Quick hands causing a lot of steals. 
and also you've got to mention the block shots. Playing hard on defense, not allowing shooters to get comfortable. Covered by Evans. Pops in the layup for two. You know, as ice cold as he was in the first half, that's how hot he has been since the break. No one can match up with him right now. Now the pass to Hendricks. Evans feeling it out a bit. Here's the three. It's hauled in by San Diego. Pass to Davis. Out to the wing. Covered by Evans. Evans with the rebound. 34% from the field. That's not going to get it done. And right on through for another basket. He's got five made on five of nine shooting. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the deck. Now here's Davis to the inside. Covered by Evans. And another one in the scoring column for him. He's 7 of 10 from the field. This is the consistency he was looking for in the first half. Just took him a while to heat up. A putback. You like that he's still attacking. But the results tonight just haven't been there. Dio can't connect from short range. A for effort, but when there's that much resistance at the rim, better find another option. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Pass to Hendricks. Hands the shot from the wing. Hendricks has got ten points here in the second half. San Diego leading by ten. Dio. Covered by Evans. Missed inside. Gone three of six from the field so far in the fourth quarter. Passes it to Hendricks. From deep. Hands it from downtown. Three points. Hendricks has got five points now this quarter. Defensively, you have to tighten up on him or suffer the consequences. San Diego, and San call. Diego calls time here. The short rest, very important, and one of the benefits of this part of the game is getting on the same page with your team while having the chance to hydrate with Gatorade to replenish your energy for the late game push. Give the hand, fans, go! San Diego now. Seven point differential. Here's Dio. Sweet little floater. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Evans outside. And the pass to Hendricks. Now here's Evans. The 19-foot shot, and he swishes it right through. Assisted by Hendricks. San Diego leading by seven. Inside, and there's a nice one-handed slam. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants to. Oh, you're right. Oh, and with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Now here's Evans. Just five to shoot. Puts up a deep three. It's hauled in by San Diego. Out to the right wing. Covered by Evans. Here's Dio. This one for three. Sinks the three-pointer. 
And San Diego leads by 12. He is cold-blooded. Drops the dagger. Piles on to what was already a big lead. I mean, defensively, if you have any hope of coming back in this game, you can't afford to give him those looks. Wow, something's brewing, guys. The three-pointers just continue to flow. To the wing right side. And they're drawing more whistles and working their way to the line here in the second half. Team foul. At the line for San Diego, Sheffield. And he knocks down the first one. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Gotten into a pretty good groove, going 6 of 10 here in the final quarter. Pass to Hendricks. And here's Evans. Pass to Hendricks. Six to shoot. A three ball. That one doesn't go. It's his fifth miss and ten shots from the floor. by Evans. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass. Getting it done. 19 points in the game. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Misses and he wants that one back. And they've got a big lead. Not just on the scoreboard. But really in the rebounding numbers as well. Covered by Evans. San Diego moving the ball around. Here's Dio. Misses the three. I mean, he's staying aggressive, trying to regain his touch. But right now, he's hurting the team. Yeah, such a sweet three-point stroke there and it can really open things up inside because as good as he shoots it it forces the opposing bigs to have to step out on the perimeter beyond the arm in for his seventh bank in 14 tries Matching baskets from the perimeter and earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Who wants a free T-shirt? Make some noise! Let's give them a round of applause for San Diego dancers. This is it to Hendricks. And the three off target. San Diego leading by 13. Covered by Evans. Puts up a deep three. That one doesn't drop. Doing well here in the fourth quarter. 50%. And there's the shoot. Dunk to finish it off. And the one hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Here's Dio. Covered by Evans. Lock at six. Here's Dio. Misses the jumper. Easy chance for mid-range. Wouldn't be surprised to see them run that play again. Over to the wing. 58 seconds left in the game. On seven. And oh boy, he had contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Oh, the officials are all over At the line for the away team. Number two. Two shots. Drops the first one, and that brings them to within 10. And that one goes in, two from the line that time. San Diego shooting here about 46% for the game. To the left side wing. Covered by Evans. Now 
down to five on the shot clock. Here's Dio. A three-pointer is right on target. And San Diego leads by 12. And you know they feel good giving their fans a show here while taking care of business. They're going to win by a nice margin. The effort was there all night. It's good from long range. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter. They just didn't allow it to fester, and that's why they're going to walk. It's time out, time now out. an opportunity to take a break and talk about their strategy moving forward. Well, there's something that the coach doesn't like. I'm curious to see which kind of adjustment he makes here. So it's both teams making substitutions here. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Hi, guys. Well, Mark Diagnall was just reviewing the plan with his team. He told his guys to, quote, turn it up, going on to say, only way we get out of this hole is with effort, incredible effort. So show me what you can do out there. It's a big ask, but we'll see what happens. Back to you. All right, appreciate it, Allie. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Morant surveying the floor. Launches a three. Good. Eight buckets in 12 attempts. Well, Doris, looking at the pace of the game now, that has to be a big factor in load management. B.A., there's no doubt that the game is more spread out and it's played at a faster pace. So much, though, goes into that load management discussion that is so volatile at times. Here are the facts, though. People are more aware because of the data we have from medical science that the season is challenging. And so teams are going to manage their greatest resource, which is the players, carefully. Load management is not going anywhere. Now here's Bain. From 10 feet away. And the jumper is good. Bain's got his first two points of the night. It's been a devastating night for them. Nothing has come easy, Grant. Nothing indeed. Even when they've tried to make adjustments, it just hasn't worked. Here's Dawkins, outside Murphy. Here's the three. Drops in the three. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. The ball goes to the away team. Substitution on the court. Here's 
Here's Dawkins, hounded by Moran. Dawkins, the pass to Russell. Off the mark. Had a chance there to trim it to single digits. Outside Moran. Fades away. And it goes. That makes him 9 for 13 now. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. Pass to Russell. Fires it from 18. He can't get that one to fall. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Bird. Off target with the three. Gone two of five from the field in this final quarter. Jones in the post. Left side, Russell. They set the screen. To the inside. Here's Matthews. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. Now Moran. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone by in the fourth. Well, two long-range bombs in the first, but that's stalled out right now. From seven feet, and that one's long. Boy, again, so little defensive pressure. You have to convert that. Oh, he missed the layup. He had it with the pump fake. Here's Dawkins, pounded by Moran. Up high and down it goes on the lob. I would imagine it's nearly impossible to not get fired up after that play. Grant, check these guys out on the bench. Their reaction says it all. They are fired up. Now here's Moran. Hodge, guarded by Russell. The fadeaway. The shot, no good. Listen, offensively, they're very comfortable with him taking that shot. It's a good look under very little pressure. He just can't convert. Jones with the ball. Five on the clock. Here's Matthews. Soft touch off the glass. They're being put to the test, and he's doing everything he can to keep them in this game. Timeout, Wildcats. Substitution on the court. We've gotten three of seven attempts in this fourth quarter to fall. Outside Moran. And he banks in the layup. Give him 23. Oh, I'll tell you what, in this fourth quarter, he's been locked in and has made some big shots for his team. Pass to Bembry. Here's Dawkins. to Bembry. There's the three. That one is off. I'll tell you what. They've been aggressive and they've been physical. Buries it down low. All right, defensively now, you've got to find a way to slow this guy down because he's putting it to you. Here's Dawkins, hounded by Moran. Oh, stolen by Moran. Hodge. No good with a layup. Got five out of ten shots to drop here in the final quarter. To the middle. On Thursday, and then on Saturday... Substitution for the away team. Number eight, Josh Hubbard. Shooting an even 50% since the fourth quarter got underway. Back to 
Moran. Over to the left wing. Clock at six. Hurt. Sends it home from three-point land. Boy, he found a little room from behind the arc, and there was no hesitation. Just lets it fly. Pass to Bembry. Here's Hubbard. Here's Bembry. A shot to stop the run. They grab their own miss. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. Grabs the board and goes right in for the putback. I love it, B.A. Yeah, wanting to close the gap. Makes sense to get aggressive on the glass here. Hodge. Bembry grabs the miss. Bembry's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Here's Dawkins. To the inside. Shot by Bembry. No good. You will have to finish harder than that if you want to convert in traffic. Here's Pollard. Wasted no time with that shot, but it's off the mark. Pass to Dawkins. Oh, stolen by Moran. Out on his own on the break. Gets the bucket and the foul. Dawkins. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he'll sit the rest of this one out. First team foul. Gotten six of their 13 shots to go. Here's Hubbard. Pounded by Moran. Let's the three fly. Sinks it from distance. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. Here's Pollard. To the paint. Uses the glass on the layup. He's got 27. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Well, when it's closing time, he's trying to lock the door. He's been going all night. Let's it go from deep. Pure from three-point range. Yeah, he needs to take a lot more shots. He's been efficient, trying to get his teammates involved, but it's time for him to step up. 127 left in the fourth. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Shooting around 53% in the fourth. Pass to Hubbard. Plenty of space. And it goes straight through with a swish. That pass had to be thrown not only in the right spot, but at the right time. Shooting a solid 47%. Inside. Oh, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. Well, not exactly one of those big, burly power forwards, right? He depends on his leaping ability more than those guys, and it serves him just fine. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. And I'll tell you what, this is a guy who doesn't take a break at all on the board. Yeah, doing serious work. He likes being an anchor on the glass. Well, but his defenders keep forgetting to box him out. He continues to just make them pay. misses. Shooting around 53% of the fourth. Outside Moran. Fades and shoots. Memory grabs the miss. Coaches loathe empty possessions. You got to be able to hit the easy ones. Pass to Hubbard. Takes a three. The offensive rebound. Smooth. Real smooth, guys. Great job with the tip in. Those are the kind of plays on the offensive glass that can tell you a lot about a player. And so they foul intentionally. Foul. Second team foul. And he commits the intentional foul. First personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for two. So the first one drops, and that makes it a seven-point lead. 
And so he drops them both. And it's an eight-point ball game. All right, guys, what's your take? Too little, too late. Making a change won't save them now. Well, I think he might just want to remind these guys, hey, let's finish the game the right way. Off the inbound pass. The rebound by Pollard. Here's Moran. And so the home crowd treated to a win. A clean win. And one where they clearly showed better energy. Yes, so true. They put on a show here at home. And I really think they had that extra swagger and confidence, too. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and...